Hi, in this video we'll talk on steps we are taking to identify why our website was hacked and what to do in order to fix that. Uh, as you will see, uh, we have a web page and if this is stuffed with all that uh, generic content like Viagra and all that stuff. Obviously we want to remove it from our website because that's not the way uh, we would want to have it. Okay, first step, and this is the always must step to back up everything. So you want to back up files of your website and a database if you use one. Okay, so in order of doing that, we just download all files to your hard drive. I'm using FileZilla and my website that is I'm um, set an example is built on WordPress. So I'm just highlight all the files and download to the folder here that I created on my hard drive. So I downloaded everything. Next step whenever we download that is to scan the files with antivirus. So whenever I have the files on my hard drive I just go to antivirus that I have on my computer and click scan. If the vulnerability is uh, is found, uh, I will see the path to the file within the folder structure where actually that uh, modified file or file with the virus is located. Okay, so next step we are going to scan the infected URL with the web service called virus.org. So I'm copying the URL of my infected web page and I'm going to virus.org.com and paste in the URL under URL tab and click scan it. So once the operation is uh, finished I will see the results uh, which will give me a little bit more information on whether my website was hacked, does it have virus or just it does it have modified files. And there's a difference between viruses and modified files. Because modified files could sit quietly on your website and uh, just produce a link like that, but in fact there will be not viruses. So they Google will not report to you via a webmaster tool console or in search, in Google organic search, you will not see any notification that your website is hacked or contains malware or viruses. So that's the case here. We see we are clean for all the most popular and most powerful antiviruses. So we should look for modified files then. And the next step here is go to our website and search within files using I'm using Adobe Dreamweaver but you can use a different software the one that allows you to search through the folders so let me explain what I'm trying to do I'm choosing one of the words that we have here and the words that I don't have on my website definitely so I definitely don't have any Viagra's or uh, Cialis or uh, Levitra nothing like that or the name of Pfizer okay let's choose the Pfizer and I'm going to <clears throat> Adobe Dreamweaver and open any files from the folder that I downloaded from the web I'm opening any file then I call for search and type Pfizer. Make sure that you are choosing the source code, not the text, but source code. And from here, find and not open documents, but in folder. And I'm choosing the folder that I just downloaded. Okay, and click in select. Make sure that the path is correct and click find next. So I'm looking through all the files that I just downloaded from the web, searching for that exact term. Uh, making chances that it will find there but as you see uh, nothing has been found okay then the next step for me would be go to my web hosting 
and search the same term via database. And I'm going to PHP my admin and your control panel could look different here. I'm using GoDaddy. And whenever I land it to PHP my admin, I'm going to the exact database for my website, which in this case is this one, and trying to search for the same term, which is Pfizer. And I click select all and click go. And you see that this search returned zero results as well. Okay. I'm not going to give up and we are moving further. So next step will be to look into the source of my web page. And what I mean, I'm going there and click Control U or whatever combination of the keyboards you have on your browser. And what I want to find is all that massive stuff. Yeah, here it is. These are all the Viagras, right? Okay, let me research what we have here. And what I immediately see that's DIV block called MLNKS, which is pretty strange, I would say. And uh, the other thing, the other way we can do that uh, is using Firebug add on, which is available both for Firefox and Google Chrome. So I'm calling the Firebug and clicking the arrow and go into this block and try to highlight it like, like this. Or, and I want to unfurl and see what we got in there. Nothing suspicious yet. Okay, let me try and do it a different way. Maybe like this. Okay, let me unfurl that B and we can see the same DIV element called M A L N K S. Let me a little bit. What we want to do next is to go to Adobe Dreamweaver and look for that element here. M L N K S. Am I correct? better just to copy and paste it and let me perform a search and immediately we found something let me find further immediately we found another way another instance of that okay hovering over the name of the file so we've done we found two items in uh, almost 4,000 documents let me hover over the name of the file and we can see that it's located under plugins wordpress support plugin and it has a really strange css name you see it's not natural and i'm not natural like that so what i'm gonna do is go to my uh, admin panel and try to disable wordpress support plugin which we found contains this uh, reference to this uh, file once I disable that, let me go to my web page and try to refresh it in order to see if it had any effect. Yeah, now my web page is clean and, and live. Okay, then I want to go to the exact page path where the uh, plugin is located. And it's, as you see, it's under WP Content Plugins WordPress Support. So I'm going via FTP clients to my plugins and locate this WordPress support plugin and I just want to delete it. I don't need it. So that's actually it and that's how we solve this exact problem. Thanks for watching. Bye.